The chaos of war still fills my ears. Those sounds and visions that have never left me. stuck in this godforsaken battleground. A totally nondescript piece of land that didn't deserve one drop of blood shed for it. It says nothing to the eye or mind except that I was there. Simply because older men dreamt of wars for young men to die in. Because they want something more than they want peace. And such is the cost of such worthless patches of ground. All the dead, faceless names that appear memorials, but they're more than just names on a wall. They say we sacrificed in war in order to gain the peace, but what difference does that make to the dead? Left alone to die and rot in the mud. Maybe one day the idea of glorious victories, won by glorious armies, will be wiped out once and for all. Neither side is glorious. On either side they're just frightened men, all of whom want the same thing. Not to lie under the earth, but to live upon it at peace. But war is wretched beyond description. The cruel and absurd reality of being trained to kill someone in cold blood that we don't even know well enough to hate. I heard it once said that war spurs not the brave but the cowardly. But war does not spare anyone. And bravery is subjective. What I remember most was the waiting. It's the waiting that drives you nuts. You know they're coming. You can hear them. And you can feel them. But when you have to wait, your mind plays tricks on you. And you hear things. And you see things. Time just slows to your crawl. They program us soldiers like computers. Trained in machines to keep going relentlessly, pursue your objective, to fight and to survive. But like computers, we too break down, become obsolete, soon to be forgotten and discarded. Can anything be more ridiculous? and then a man has a right to kill me because I come from a different land or country, or because his leader has a quarrel with mine, although I have none with him. Some speak of heroism, duty, and service, tell stories of glory, but dress it as they may, for to me war is but murder in uniform, and mutual annihilation. How savage it is that it takes many years of peace to make a man, yet only a few seconds of war to destroy him. War is intolerable. War is painful. 
and good people die. You may win, but you still lose. You may survive, but you still die. It's only those who have neither fired a shot nor heard the shrieks of the wounded who cry aloud for blood. More vengeance, more devastation. Such a monstrous thing is war. To fill us with hatred instead of love and to devastate the fair face of this beautiful world. They said it would be quick, an in and out job. But war is an eternity, jammed into frantic minutes to fill a lifetime with dreams and nightmares. I was alone then, but I'm more alone now.